come back uh, okay this uh, this clip is about uh, chapter 18 yeah the first clip on chapter 18 let me just adjust this slightly all right and yeah? what are the key concepts that we're going to look at in this chapter yeah let's uh, Okay, yeah, chapter 18 is about short-term finance and planning. Yeah? Some of the concepts that we have uh, we are going to look at yeah, in this chapter have been discussed earlier yeah, uh, in an earlier chapter. So that I think we will look through very briefly. Yeah? Alright, so in this chapter we are going to look at operating cycle. Yeah? Let me just get the pointer here. We are going to look at the operating uh, cycle and cash cycle. Yeah, the two cycles here, operating cycle and cash cycle, and why they are important. Yeah, so there are two concepts and yeah, two important concepts here. But uh, in these two concepts, we have three other yeah, uh, periods which are also uh, relevant, yeah, the, which are important component uh, concepts of this. Yeah, so we we'll look at uh, three other concepts as well, apart from these two. Let me look at different types of short-term financial policy. Okay, and when we say short-term financial policy, we have short-term financing policy and short-term investment policy. All right, and then we look at uh, the essentials of short-term financial plan. Basically, we'll be looking at uh, the uh, cash budget. Yeah? So that is part of the short-term financial planning. Yeah? Then we look at the sources and uses of cash on the balance sheet. And this is actually the first part of the chapter, yeah? but uh, this has been uh, deferred to the last part, yeah? as if it's the last part. It's actually the first part of the chapter. Right, this is the chapter outline. So uh, we'll be looking at, uh, this is a review, cash and networking capital. This we have studied before, so we'll go through this very quickly. Then we look at operating cycle and the cash cycle. Yeah? So in this operating cycle, we will be looking at uh, two component uh, concepts. Yeah? And then in the cash cycle, we'll be looking at three yeah? uh, component concepts. So altogether, there are uh, five yeah, concepts uh, related to the cash cycle. Yeah? And uh, we'll look at uh, short term financial policy. Okay. Uh, here we look at financing as well as investment policy. Then we'll be looking at the cash budget. Okay, how to do a cash budget? And what is the purpose of the cash budget and the utility yeah, of the cash budget? Uh, then we we'll look at uh, some short-term borrowing yeah, uh, aspects, okay, or instruments. Yeah, short-term borrowing, and then we we'll look at short-term financial plan. Yeah. This short-term financial plan is after considering borrowing, and this is part of cash budget. All right. So this is the sources and uses of cash. Uh, so uh, we start with the balance sheet identity. Yeah. So we rearrange this because we want to see the concept of cash. Yeah. All right. We we have on the left hand side the assets, but what we do is we uh, deduct. Yeah. Uh, current liabilities and we have current assets plus fixed uh, fixed assets would be your total assets right but here we have net working capital net working capital is actually current assets minus current liabilities yeah? so you minus current liabilities on the left hand side so we have net working capital plus fixed assets so here uh, you have current assets sorry we have total assets minus current liabilities yeah? so on this uh, right hand side you have long-term debt and equity yeah? so you don't have uh, current liabilities on this side yeah? because it has been brought over to the left hand side yeah? so we can express net working capital is equals to cash plus non-cash current assets minus current liabilities yeah? so you have current liabilities under net working capital yeah? so now what you can do is we uh, express this yeah, as cash Again, we bring all these two elements yeah, to the right hand side. So your cash is equals to long term debt plus equity plus yeah, when you bring this over to the uh, the other side, it becomes plus current liabilities. And this will be total uh, what they call liabilities and equity minus non cash current assets minus fixed assets will be 
cash. But why do we need this equation? Yeah? This equation is to look at the changes yeah, in cash arising from changes in this uh, elements. Yeah? So we see that we have seen this before. The source of cash will be anything, uh, any increase in liabilities, okay, or equity, any increase in current assets, okay, non-cash, yeah, current assets, and fixed assets will be a use of cash because you have negative here minus. Yeah. Therefore, we can summarize. So this this summary here can be given in a table like this. Okay, sources of cash are any decrease yeah, in non-cash current assets or fixed assets but uh, a decrease yeah, in uh, an increase yeah, in current liabilities long-term debt and equity here would be a source of cash yeah? now if there's a decrease in current liabilities uh, long-term debt and equity then this will be a use of cash but if there's an increase non-cash current assets okay and fixed assets then it will be a use of cash yeah? this cash will become lower uh, if this increases yeah so this is a summary yeah, of uh, the uses and sources of cash yeah? sources and uses of cash and that can be derived from this equation here and this equation here and that equation uh, is represented in this table here right Okay, so that's uh, actually a summary. This is not something that is new. All right, let's move on. Yeah, so this is something new that we are going to learn in this chapter, which is the operating cycle. Yeah, now the operating cycle is the time. Yeah, this is the proper definition for operating cycle, also known as OC. This is the time between purchasing the inventory and collecting the cash from sale of the inventory. Okay, now that is uh, the operating cycle. Yeah, so. This is buying the inventory, very simple, yeah? buying the inventory and collecting cash from sale of the inventory. When you sell and you collect the cash, okay, the time between these two events yeah, would be called operating cycle. Now, this operating cycle is made up of two components. Yeah? What are the two components? The first one is inventory period. Now, the book uses inventory period and sometimes it uses inventory conversion period. Yeah? So, it uses these two interchangeably yeah? but I would prefer using inventory conversion period yeah? but inventory period or inventory conversion period mean, uh, means the same thing yeah? right inventory conversion period is ICP okay this is the time required to purchase inventory just like this purchase inventory and then sell the inventory yeah? how is this different from operating cycle yeah? it is different because here you buy and you sell the inventory here you buy but you collect cash from the sale of inventory yeah? so the collection of cash yeah? collection of cash is required here for operating cycle here in inventory period the beginning time the same yeah? purchase of the inventory purchase of inventory but here the end time is when cash is collected here it is when you sell the inventory yeah? Usually, the inventory period is shorter than the operating cycle. Why? Because uh, when you sell the inventory, okay, uh, you, you do it earlier and you collect the cash from the sale of inventory later. Yeah? So, this operating cycle, even though it starts together with the inventory period, but the end of the operating cycle is usually yeah, later, typically later than the end of the inventory period. Okay, so that is what we mean by inventory period. Then accounts receivable period, yes, it's uh, sometimes called receivable period, sometimes it's called average collection period, okay. So all these mean, mean the same thing. I prefer using this uh, average collection period or ACP. Now this is the time required to collect on credit sales, yeah. So here also there are two events, yeah, the time between two events. The first event would be the sale on credit, yeah, the sale of inventory on credit or not inventory but the sale of uh, finished goods yeah? it's also inventory the uh, sale of products or services uh, on credit yeah? then later you collect from your customer yeah? that is the end uh, event yeah? the beginning event when you make the sale and the end event is when you collect so you know that the operating cycle 
must be the inventory period plus the accounts receivable period. Yeah? So as a formula, we can summarize this as OC is equals to ICP plus ACP. Yeah? All right. So we know that this operating cycle concept yeah? or uh, the period yeah? is actually a period. Okay, it's made up of two periods, yeah, two component periods. One is the inventory conversion period, the other is the account uh, uh, average collection period, you know, accounts receivable period or uh, average collection period. All right, now we come to the second concept, which is the cash cycle. Yeah, now this book uses cash cycle, but in uh, other books and also later chapters, yeah, you'll find that uh, the reference is made to cash conversion cycle. Okay, so CCC or cash conversion cycle. Yeah? Now, what is this? Yeah? This is the time uh, we need to finance our working capital. Okay, so this also involves the time between two events. Yeah? What, is the, uh, what are the two events and uh, what is the time involved? Yeah? So, the difference between when we receive cash from the sale and when we have to pay for the inventory. Yeah? Usually, uh, we pay for the inventory first. Yeah, we purchase the inventory, then we pay for the inventory. Then we sell the inventory and we collect the, uh, from the sale of inventory. Yeah, so there are four events here. But this uh, paying for the inventory would usually, yeah, not always, usually occur first. Then we receive cash yeah, from uh, the sale of uh, our goods would be the second. Event, yeah? so, so the time between this event and this event yeah, would be the cash cycle. Now we call this the cash cycle because these two events involve cash outflow when we pay and cash inflow when we receive the cash. Yeah? That is why it's called cash cycle. Yeah? So this event yeah, or this uh, cycle or this period involves the payment and the receipt of cash. The other yeah, periods don't involve the payment as well as the receipt of cash. Yeah? Only the cash cycle involves yeah? the payment as well as the receipt of cash. Now, this cash cycle is made up of another yeah? uh, component period which is called the accounts payable period, sometimes called the payable period or uh, also known as the average payment period or APP. Yeah? This is the time between purchase of inventory and the payment for the inventory. Yeah? So you buy the inventory and then you pay for the inventory. Yeah? That is called the uh, accounts payable period. Okay, so here there is one payment. Yeah? So now this cash cycle is actually the operating cycle minus the accounts payable period, which is CCC is equals to OC, which we have seen in the previous slide, minus APP. Yeah? Now, how can we represent this? Yeah? How can you show this? Okay, we can show it in a timeline like this. This is the first uh, uh, two events. Yeah? You buy inventory and then you sell the inventory. Yeah? This is called the inventory conversion period. The time between this point and this point is called the inventory conversion period. You buy the inventory and then you sell the inventory. Yeah? So you buy raw material, then you process the raw material, it becomes work in progress. Then once it's ready to be sold, it becomes finished goods. But once it is sold, okay, then it, uh, the inventory is converted to receivables. Yeah? Now, you collect cash. Yeah? You sell the inventory and you collect cash at this point. This, uh, there are two events here. Yeah? You sell inventory and then you collect cash here. The time between these two events would be the average collection period. Average time taken by the firm to collect. Yeah, that's called the average collection period. Now, the third, uh, these two, yeah, when you add these two, this is the operating cycle. Yeah, the time when you buy the inventory and the time when you collect cash for the sale of the inventory. This is called the operating cycle. Yeah. Now, the third event when you pay cash. Yeah, let's say you buy the inventory here you pay cash here, right? Now, the time between these two points will be average payment period. Okay, this is the average payment period. Now, the time between these two events, yeah, these two, payment of cash and collection of cash. There will be a cash outflow here, cash inflow here, yeah? And this is called the cash conversion cycle. 